Hi, my name is Juliana Hever. I'm also called the Plant-Based Dietitian. I'm the author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Plant-Based Nutrition, co-author of the upcoming Complete Idiot's Guide to Gluten-Free Vegan Cooking, and a Veg News Nutrition Columnist, and Executive Director of EarthSave International. I had the honor of being on the Dr. Oz show yesterday, and well, it aired yesterday, but what we did was we took three women that had high cholesterol and high blood pressure and put them on a, well, he called it a prehistoric diet, and it was basically raw fruit and vegetables for 48 hours in a zoo. They stayed in a zoo, but after that, we included, I, I had them add back whole grains, legumes, and fresh and cooked vegetables as well to just broaden their, their diet, and they could have nuts and seeds as well. And we saw an amazing turnaround in their health parameters when they monitored before and after. It was only a period of five or six days, and you know the triglycerides dropped, their blood pressure normalized, and they lost an average of four pounds. So basically, he was saying, well, this is an extreme diet. Is this really something you guys could do in your real life? Well, not, not so much. Well, that's why I brought in registered nutritionist Juliana Hever to tell you how to bring this into the real world. So I got on and talked about, well, if you don't eat steak, where do you get your protein? And I talked about all the beautiful, abundant sources of plant-based proteins. And then we had a table and a discussion about calcium and a table of, and discussion about fats and where you get your omega-3 fatty acids, your, your healthy fats. And then we discussed carbohydrates, which are obviously gorgeous and plentiful in the plant kingdom. And then we came back for the second segment and talked about, we did three recipes, three recipes from my book, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Plant-Based Nutrition. We did a green smoothie, uh, a Mexican Norito, which is kind of like a burrito with a nori, and uh, beans and green chili. So the last segment was the three, three of my recipes. And they all loved the food and they all said they could do this for the long run, so it was pretty exciting. My definition of health is having energy and being able to thrive and do what you want to do and feeling good. You know, it's all about what what you're what happens to you exogenously, like what you feel on the inside and out, and what you exude in terms of energy and ability to to do everything that you want to do in life and not have to be limited by physical immobilities or, or restraints and of course there's a biochemical definition of that as well and making sure that you have optimal nutrition and you're able to exercise and move and enjoy life Plant-based food has completely changed every aspect of my life. I could probably say that easily. First of all, I've never felt better. I've never had to, you know, I've never gotten to the point where I didn't have to count calories and count fat grams and all that stuff just to maintain my, my body weight and just to feel good and have energy and be able to have, you know, the best workouts at the gym and, and basically thrive for myself. But also... Uh, when I, I've been a registered dietitian, I, I've been a personal trainer, so I've been in the health and fitness industry for almost 20 years now. And when I was working with clients for years and years, teaching them the standard American, what I was taught in graduate school, I was not getting the results at all. Like I was at best able to help people maintain their weight, maybe lose a few pounds, but maintain their state of chronic disease. Once I started doing a whole food plant-based nutrition recommendations with my clients, that was it. We got people completely healthy. Weight loss was easy. Cholesterol dropped to normal, like and below normal, like to really good levels. Blood pressure normalized. We literally have seen people reverse diabetes, type 2 diabetes, reverse heart disease. We've seen people decrease the progression of autoimmune diseases, things that we never thought was even possible before. So we are seeing miracles, and I am personally seeing miracles happen with my clients and students and anyone that, that really cares to listen and take some of this information in and imp implement it into their daily life. It's been phenomenal. Yes, dealing in the real world is a little bit challenging when you switch over your diet. It is kind of shunned by a lot of people. It's scary because it makes people address their own their own issues, their own defense system. You know, they want to know that what they're eating is okay and they're doing all the good, the best things that they can for them and their families. And when you kind of show up doing your own thing that's very different, it makes them have to take another another turn and look and look deeper. So what I recommend, I never preach. I really try never to preach and, and tell people what they should and shouldn't do. Instead, the best thing you could possibly do, no doubt, is, is being a good role model. People laugh at me all the time and I'm used to it and I, I don't care. I, I guess I'm fortunate that I don't really care what people think so much. So um, I just do my thing and, I, and all of a sudden when people that were laughing at me say, hey, I, you know, my, my cluster was high this month, I'm going to just try this for a little bit. And all of a sudden they have these great results and they're like not laughing at me anymore and all of a sudden they're feeling fabulous and then their family, like they, they tell everyone that they know and it just kind of spreads like wildfire. So I've gotten to the point where I'm really comfortable with people laughing at me because I know that it works 
and I see the benefits and I see them, the people, slowly, slowly taking, taking those ideas and, and, and putting it into their lives and it's making a difference. So it makes me really happy. The number one thing I would say is to incorporate as, as much color as you possibly can into your diet. The second thing is to move your body, move, get out and move and exercise about an hour a day. The more you move, the more you, the better you feel and it's like move it or lose it, you know. So I highly recommend exercise. So leafy greens would be number one and the, the color of the rainbow would be number one. Number two would be moving and number three would be a variety and incorporating different types of whole plant foods, legumes, different vegetables besides the beautiful, wonderful leafy greens, um, fresh fruits, whole grains. Just make that the basis of your diet and you will make a huge impact on your own personal health and on the environment.